July 12th. Our bounden duty and service. When ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants, we have done that which was our duty to do. Luke 17:10. In Christ's service there are no hours when we cease to be his bondservants, or pass from under his eye. We are always his, always at his disposal, always bound to ask, what he would have us do. In this there is no hardship, because he knows our frame, and understands the complex machinery of life needs time to cool and rest and recreate itself. We remember that our Lord bade his disciples leave the crowded lakeside, to come with him apart and rest a while. He knows that we need rest and change, but he would keep these hours of relaxation under his own command because they are often the most perilous to the soul's health. How often, when we have been engaged in earnest service to others for Christ's sake, we are inclined to say, now we may have a good time for ourselves, we may relax the girdle, we may sit down to meet. We are inclined to act at such times as if we were off duty, and as though our Lord had no jurisdiction over us. But it is when we have done our Master's work that He sometimes says to us, You have been so taken up with my work that you have neglected me. You have thought more of the depth and straightness of the furrow, more of the wool and safety of the flock, than of the one for whom you work. Give me a little of your thought and love. Make ready wherewith I sup, gird thyself and serve me. Yea, our Lord Jesus wants our love, and he will not be satisfied if we give time, energy, and thought to his service, and forget him. When we have done all that Christ asks of us, we have nothing to be proud of. Our good works do not earn our salvation, nor merit anything at the hand of our Savior. Our uttermost service is only our bounden duty and privilege. It is a blessed thing, when we are wholly yielded to obey him, for his service is perfect freedom from envy, dissatisfaction with our lot, jealousy of others, and pride. The wonder is that he takes us into partnership with himself. Prayer Lord, we go to our daily work, help us to take pleasure therein. Show us clearly what our duty is, help us to be faithful in doing it. Give us strength to do, patience to bear, by our true love to thee, make unlovely things shine in the light of thy great love. Amen.